Hi, it's Bax and O'Brien. Next week on our show, excuse me. That, yep. I already had my keys in my hand. That's how close I was to going home. I was ready to walk out of the place because we're looking at an indefinite period of five-day weeks. Yeah, well, a lot indefinite. of people. A lot of people allegedly work those kinds of hours. I don't give a rat's ass about a lot of people. Yeah. I care about one person. Me. Okay, but this is the Bax and O'Brien show, so you are a part of me. Well, and we're here or not here together. And together, we have an indefinite number of five-day weeks from now until quite possibly the end of the year. M more importantly, let me explain what's coming up next week. That's uh, not I more important. No, it is, because I think people are watching this to find out what to look forward to next week. I don't think they are. I think they're looking at this and they're going, my God, I feel bad for those guys. No, they shouldn't for next week because next week Lisa Lampanelli will be uh, back with us. She's got a brand new book out called Chocolate Please and we'll also talk about how she's engaged to be married to a white guy. A white guy, a for white God's guy. sakes. What the hell is happening to this world when Lisa Lampanelli marries a white man. Also, uh, comedian uh, Kathleen Madigan is going to be at the Calvin Theater. We're supposed to be talking to her. Also, Fitzy from tannynews.com, uh, Chris from the Best Buy Geek Squad, Ron Chamellis. And we're spreading that out over five days. All right. Because five days, every week from now until we don't know when. Uh, Although, I am hoping November. now for that swine flu. Yeah, uh, probably November during the Mayflower Marathon, but that's no. for us to worry about later, not now. I plan on going to one of those schools and licking children. Yeah, well, you so do I that, you'll be, flu. you'll be doing that, you'll be fed by the open pantry. At least this time I have a reason.